In last video, we discussed about how to connect Firebase with Flutter app. We worked with app level Gradle file, project level Gradle file, and a pub spec YML file. We customized our main function for Firebase integration. In this video, we will learn how to save data to Firebase from Flutter app. First of all, there is a little work remaining with the app level Gradle file. We need to update the main SDK version to 21. But you can choose 21 or higher. We will use Firestore database for saving data uh, to Firebase. Uh, that's why in the pubspec YML file, we need to add Firestore dependencies. I'm writing Cloud Firestore and its version. Uh, now click on pubget. In lib folder, we add a Dart file named addData which contain add data class. We also add an elevated button to connection Firebase class that will navigate uh, to add data class. In add data class, there is three text form field. First one is for name, second one is for age, and third one is for email. And then elevated button called add. When we will uh, click on add button, this text form field data should save to Firebase. I already created Firestore database here, but I will show you a demo how to make Firestore database. Open your project from Firebase, click on build and select Firestore database. Click Firestore database and select create database. Click next and then create. Open rules from here and remove this portion then publish it now open firestore database again click on start collection in this section provide a collection name you want uh, i am writing user details click next select this auto id now this could have certain fields let us say uh, name i am providing a name in this section which will be a string type. I can add another field that contains age, which will be a number, giving this section a random number. Adding another field that will contain email. Type is string and uh, value is let's say either to add gmail.com. Now my user details collection is created, which contains field like name, age and email now i am opening my actual project that i am working on now see this section each of the field there is a key corresponding to its value and we know that map stores a collection of key value pairs here name is a key and is a two is its value age is a key and 22 is its value Email is a key and is it to at gmail.com is its value. So we can say that map can be used as a data structure for saving data in Firebase. That's why I'm making a map inside this on pressed section of this add button. I'm writing map key as string and value as dynamic. And the name of this map is user details. So, why we used key as string and value as dynamic? Uh, here, key, name, age and email are written as string here. But value is a 2 is string, 22 is a number and is a 2 at gmail.com is string again. That's why we will use value as dynamic. Now I am writing all the key here as I want and giving a value for each key. To write data to our collection, we need first create a collection reference. Now we have to use a Firestore instance and insert this collection, we will write the collection name we made before.
now write collection reference dot add and we will pass uh, the map we created make sure you import all the necessary packages now we start the app and click on add our maps below are saved to this collection now our target is to save the data from this text form field that's why we will make controller for each three section and inside each of this text form field i am writing their corresponding uh, controller now i am replacing uh, our map below with the controller now restart this app again type name age and email here and press add here we successfully saved our information from text form field to firestore database if this video is helpful to you please uh, like this video and subscribe for stay connected